it's important to optimize your computer for using Pro Tools in the system. This way you have no problems, no glitches, and it'll work properly. Now, if you're not too sure of what to do, you can read it in the PDF file that comes with your Pro Tools system as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is optimizing for my Mac. So I want to make sure that I have everything ready to go. So I want to turn off a few items within the system. I want to make sure I have the configuration for my system preferences properly. Optimize my energy saver. Airport and Bluetooth should be off. Time machine, fire networks, and file void protection should be off. Make sure that the update my iLock driver. Turn off software update. Additional optimizations can be disable spotlight index, disable sudden motion sensor, which can be used on a laptop. Now it's important to optimize all these items for use of Pro Tools on your system. And check with Avid.com continually to make sure that your latest version is ready to go, particularly with the configuration of your system preferences. Now for Windows, the core optimizations are Configure Device Manager, Disable Network Cards and Order Devices, Disable USB Management and System Update Items. Also, Hard Drive Optimization. Turn off User Account Control, Adjust the Power Options. Option optimizations are adjusting Processor Scheduling and Disable Screen Saver and Adjust Display Performance. That's important. So you need to understand what to do and when to do it. If you got a problem, always check your PDF file that comes with your Pro Tools system. It's important to keep your system and your Pro Tools machine up to date. Now you gotta follow these recommendations for your Mac or for your Windows. So, turn off any programs that run in the background. Quit any program that unneeded while using Pro Tools. Turn off any unsaved Firewire device, okay? It's unused stuff, turn it off. Check avid.com for the latest update. Now, hard drive mechanism. We do not record to an internal system drive. No, we don't. You got to record to an external hard drive. It's important. It's the best way to use Pro Tools. Use at least one external or a second internal drive to store audio data. Okay? We're going to make sure we got 7,200 7, RPMs FireWire drive. It's got to be a compatible ATI or IDE drive. And check the Avid website to make sure you have the proper drive for your system.